What is up, YouTube? It's the double agent you can trust, and you can call me Agent Zone. Nick Smith should be back in a couple more days, but until then, I'm gonna do a Legends Fantasy Draft here. So, your job watching this, well, you can learn with me if this is your first time actually watching a Fantasy Draft in 2K16 to see how they draft, but more importantly, critique me and let me know how well I did. I did one of these over at my channel, and I got the literally the worst pick you can get, and that's the pick right in the middle. So, we're doing a Legends Draft. So, it's gonna be a little bit different than the draft that I did, and I'm excited to get into it. So, user teams, draft combine, everything manual. Just wanna make sure all the settings are on point. Okay, everything's just manual, nothing's automated. Awesome, so we're using the Raptors, which means, yo, know, please don't give me a terrible pick. Oh my goodness, okay. First of all, oh man, Vintage Kobe got taken before Jordan. I happen to agree with that decision, Cleveland. Um, I hate getting the pick in the middle. I think if you guys play fantasy sports or even if you just do fantasy draft in general on 2K, the middle pick is the worst pick you can possibly get. I wanna get first or last. I don't like the middle, man. Oh, some Vintage Paul Pierce would be amazing. I don't know if he was 94 back in his prime, but Okay, okay, so there's some stars. I'm very tempted to pick up Allen Iverson right now, but there's also Hakeem, there's Malone. Oh my god, okay, this is tough. Um, I feel like just because I know Nick Smith would want me to do this, I'm gonna go ahead and draft my boy Wade. That's that championship prime Wade right there. And check out how Shaquille O'Neal went right before us. Both of the Shaquilles, the 96 and the 93. Ah, okay, so let's get forward. Iverson got taken. Nash, Steph Curry, Hakeem, Kevin Durant. That's crazy how far deep Kevin Durant went. Imagine seeing that. Sean Kemp, Yao Ming. Oh my God. Okay, so we now, just looking at our team, can we do that? View draft picks, awesome. We got a shooting guard that's Wade. I feel like we need a big man at this point just to kind of balance out a little bit. But then again, I don't want to kind of rush. Chris Paul is there. I'm kind of debating between Chris Paul or Aldridge, or maybe even Julius Irving. I don't know though, I don't know if we wanna stack up on the wing and then lack any big men. Not that we'd lack anyway, look at all these guys. This is a deep ass, you know what? Ah, uh, okay, yeah, I'm a, I'm a roll with Chris Paul. I don't know if I can pass up with Chris Paul, and he's the last 90 overall left too. Chris Paul is too good to pass up. So we got Chris Paul and Dwayne Wade, our backcourt. <laughs> is looking incredible. I want you guys to let me know, rate my team once I complete this and let me know what you guys think and how I did. I haven't done a Legends draft before. Well, I did one in 2K15, but not in 2K16, so this is different for me. Moncrief, shout out to Moncrief on the Colts, by the way. God damn, is he lighting it up for the Colts with Andrew Luck. But this is basketball, and we need Marc Gasol or Kevin Love. I don't know, we can stretch the floor with Kevin Love. Maurice Cheeks, hey. Um, <laughs> I think I might have to roll with Marcus Gasol. I think, yeah, I don't know if I can pass up Marcus Gasol. So we got Chris Paul, Wade, and Marcus Gasol. I'm gonna compare with some of the other teams and see who they drafted, because, you know, just to rate my team and my team alone, would it make sense? You kinda have to compare my team to some of the other teams in the league to see how well I did. Vucevic went in the fourth round, man, that's, that's saying something. Andrew Wiggins! You know what I would've went for? I read every year I forget Wiggins. Every draft I do, I forget about Wiggins because he's not the high overall, but he's that potential player. Damn it. I, I regret it every single time, but I make the same mistake. So um, now, if I want to draft somebody, DeAndre Jordan seems like, but we literally just picked up Marcus Gasol. Maybe we should have got Kevin Love last round. If we can pair Kevin Love up with DeAndre Jordan, we would be, is that Larry Hughes? Okay, let's not, he was not 85. On that Cleveland Cavalier team where they went to the finals, he was not 85 overall, okay? You can't, people can't go around saying LeBron didn't have teammates, then go around giving Larry Hughes an 85. He was an 80 at best, in my opinion. I didn't think LeBron had that great of a cast with him, at least not an 85 overall worthy cast. Cause compare 85 with the people this year, that's like Jimmy Butler level. That's like Kawhi, Kawhi Leonard level. That was not Larry Hughes. Talking about Jimmy Butler, he's right there. I feel like he'd round out our starting lineup. As small forward, we can use a small forward or a power forward. Um, and there's no like standout. Oh, we might even get Dikembe. <laughs> Dikembe Mutombo. Um, I don't wanna I don't wanna drop this low though. I don't wanna drop this low. I see Jimmy Butler. He's great defensively, and he has a lot of potential. I think this one makes sense here. I'm gonna roll with Jimmy. Jimmy! 
Let's go for it. And now I think the last position we need in our starting lineup is a power forward. So we just need that and we're, we're good. Okay. DeAndre is still on. I am so tempted to pick up DeAndre. I don't know how I could pass up DeAndre sitting right there. Because DeAndre is that offense, you know? He's that offense we can use, the offense we need. Just looking at our team though, we have offense. Chris Paul, diamond it up. Wade, most definitely offense right there. He looks odd in a, in a Raptor jersey, doesn't he? Anyway, I'm gonna, I think I might pass on DeAndre for now. See if there's any young guys. Oh, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. I have an idea, I have an idea. Can we scroll all the way down here? And you know what? I don't think you go, actually. I don't think you go. I was gonna go for Carl Anthony Towns. Actually, I don't see went already. We'll roll with DeAndre. I don't think Carl Anthony Towns went. Oh, is that him up there? Yeah, that is him. He got taken. Yo, I'm tripping up. I want some young guys on the team. I want a potential player on the team. Rudy Gobert. Okay. Tobias Harris. Okay, so now the draft is getting a little bit deeper, and we're gonna have to start picking up some some gems. We're gonna have to find some gems in the in the draft right now. Okay, Monte Ellis. Mm, I want to try and get a young guy, and we got our starting lineup on. So just taking a look at the starting lineup, and I guess we can play Marcus All at power forward. None of these guys even have a secondary position. Six eleven and seven one. We might just play one on the bench and then draft a power forward right now if we find one. But look, all of these guys are guards. Every single one of these guys. That's crazy. Otis Thorpe is really the only power forward. Um, and I think Otis Thorpe, he's a good shot, right? Good shot. I'm tripping then. I'm tripping then. I'm lying. I had him on 2K15, and he had a he had a good shot. I don't know what happened here, Otis Thorpe. But I will end up going with... I think I'll roll with... Should we? Well, let's see if there's any other power forwards. That, let me just sort by power forwards to make, you know, make this a little bit easier for me. And yeah, yeah, there's some good people. I'm not tripping. We still have Tristan Thompson. Yeah, we can get him later. So I want to pick the players that I feel like are going to go this round just so I can have a productive draft. Wesley Matthews. Yes. Yes, the three point shot. What am I, th what am I thinking? Yeah, we're all with Wesley Matthews. We need some. I hope that was Wesley Matthews. I kind of just rushed that pick. Yeah, it was. Okay. Paul Pierce, the, the current Paul Pierce went now. Sixth round. Okay, we're back on the clock, awesome. Oh, I thought it said Mike Bibby. I was like, how is he a 79? I was gonna snake him right there. And I see Kenneth Freed. It seems like the easy power forward option right here. And uh, I rolled with Kenneth Freed. I was thinking about picking up Tristan Thompson, but uh, we'll, we'll, we'll get the hustle, rebounding, run the break kind of offense now, I guess. And if we tag him with DeAndre Jordan, really, then we have a very up-tempo team. And I like that. So, damn, John Starks, the Vladdy Divac. I, some of these guys are low overall. Kyle Korver, we could have also chosen Korver if we wanted three point shots. Joel Embiid, okay, so some of the young guys are going. I figure, yo, now's the time to kind of cash in. Is like a D'Angelo Russell still available? Is a D'Angelo Russell still available at this moment? Because we can kind of play him behind Chris Paul, have him develop. Is he this low in overall? Let me just sort my point guards. I think it'd be easier this way. D'Angelo, Russell. I don't know why I'm kind of eyeing him because there's probably other point guards I can get, but I'm assuming he went. Or I passed by him and I completely missed him. Jordan Clarkson is also there. Jordan, I like Jordan, I like Jordan Clarkson, but I guess, I don't know, if we can't find him, uh, I don't want to search all day for him. Damari Carroll? Wait, hold up. I don't want to go for Dragic. Should we go for Dragic? Um... I'll go for Dragic. I'll go for Dragic. Why not? Our salary on our team is going to be crazy. <laughs> Come to think of it. By the way, for those who don't know, we're just this is a mock draft. So we're not going to continue these. We're kind of just doing the draft for the sake of the draft. I do mock drafts all the time. If you guys play fantasy basketball or football, it's a good way to prepare. Um, if you guys are doing online leagues and you're doing fantasy drafts, it's a good way to prepare as well. Uh, something something about these drafts I just love. Doug Christie. Am I wearing my, I'm not wearing my Raptors hat, my OKC hat, but... Imagine Doug Christie. Damari Carroll is still there. I don't think I could pass him up anymore. Damari Carroll. And, okay, we got our starting lineup. And then on the bench, we got Drogic, Wesley Matthews, Kenneth Reed. And then we can round up with... We'll roll with Damari Carroll for now. That was, hopefully, I'm tripping up. I need to start reading the names, because you never know. Sometimes, you know, there's more than one Rivers. There's more. There might be more than one Green, you know. 
you can't trip up and accidentally draft the wrong person. And now we just need a center. And then we kind of have our starting and our bench. And then from that point on, you kind of just go all the way down and just search for, if you need three-point shoot, Bargnani got drafted. If you need three-point shooting, you go for that. If not, then you switch it up. Let's go to centers. We might even just draft a power forward and play in that center. But none of these, none of these guys are really that good. Let's go to center. Hibbert, I like Hibbert. A lot of people don't like Hibbert, but he's great defensively. For some reason, for some reason, I had to come and check because a sliver of hope was alive that for some reason Anthony Davis was still here. Although you know it went against everything that made sense. <laughs> it's not. It's Antonio Davis, unfortunately. And we're gonna roll with Larry Sanders, who, if you guys remember when he played for the Bulls, he should have a 99 or a very high block block rating where's that hustle is 80s a 96 the blocks only 94 but I thought it'd be a little bit higher he's a defensive beast he led the league in blocks a few years back before he just gave up on the NBA so I figured yo we're, we're getting a lot of defensive players like um, don't worry Carol might as well tag along I was gonna go for Gortat but you know I need some defense some defense it's not that like our backup center is not gonna be scoring much anyway you know so might as well have him do something important like defend and, <clears throat> wow, I almost choked over myself there. What happened? <laughs> Am I alive? <clears throat> I need some pure life. Oh my god, I need some Nestle right now. Some Nestle in my life. Charles Oakley. Man, some of the Raptors. Some of the old school Raptors just representing right now. Okay, so I'm going to dig down now and just try and find some sort of gem. Eric Snow. I remember this guy. He played with LeBron too in the Cleveland Cavaliers. Shit, I, I know this because I used to face my brother all the time in like NBA Live 06 and I would just see Eric Snow, Larry Hughes, like Jonas Lebgalskis, and the Booby Gibson. They would just keep lighting me up, man. Anyway, um, Jordan Clarkson, yes. Yes, please. I will roll with Clarkson. For those who didn't follow the Lakers last year, Clarkson was a gem. I picked him up in fantasy as well. He performed incredible. I was kind of confused they even picked up D'Angelo Russell because I felt like Jordan Clarkson had that position locked down. Maybe they could have went for a big man instead of trading for Roy Hibber. Uh, but anyway. Okay, so we got Jordan Clarkson. Now let's see if we can find any other gems down here. Some gems. Maybe, maybe these are just players I like. I don't know. Lance Stevenson all the way down here. That's crazy. Devin Harris. Shout out to Devin Harris. I met him in real life in an airport one time. Um... Terrence Ross, hmm, Raja Bell, man, I haven't heard his name in a while. Dion Waiters, Austin Rivers. I'm gonna I'm find my gem, JaVale McGee, in case we need to make any boneheaded, boneheaded moves. Um, I feel like I'm, I'm eyeing Norris Cole right now. Not that it makes a difference, but if this was like a draft for real life, you'd want somebody with, you'd want somebody that has like that championship background, you know? Oh, Steve Kerr. Yes, please. What's the sh Oh my god, this isn't even a question. 95 shot. We found Steve Kerr all the way at the bottom. This is what you gotta search at the bottom sometimes. And I think we have our last pick, or our second last pick coming up right now. Amir Johnson all the way up here. Oh, that's Avery Johnson. I'm tripping. I'm tripping, Avery Johnson. I apologize. Del Curry as well? Yeah, we can just lace up on shooters. Oh, his three-pointer is not that good, though. This is the Raptors, Del Curry, I believe. <clears throat> okay, let's scroll down. Kevin Garnett, okay. I might have to mess, with, I don't know though. If we're if we're being like salary conscious right now, which I haven't been doing a good job of so far this draft, Kevin Garnett is literally the most awful person you could pick up because he has a crazy salary and he's not gonna be getting much minutes. So let me just scroll all the way down here. Some of the guys I haven't seen yet. Is that DeLon Wright? Oh, Darrell Wright. Nah, I was looking for some DeLon Wright. Derek Williams. Okay, there's, there's there has to be some good people in here. Should I just, oh my God, I don't know. I might have some Vince Carter on the squad, Steve Nash. Some of these guys might as well just retire. Steve Nash did retire, actually. <laughs> but I guess it's nice to have him since he's a legend, right? All right, I figured we go up. All right, we're too low. At that point, we're not finding gems. We're just finding pieces of trash. And I will roll with someone like Tim Hardaway. And then I guess next round we'll draft. I think this is the last round, actually. I was going to go for another big man, but... If we ever need to, we can just go on the free agency to do it. So let's exit draft, and we'll check out some of the other teams and see how I did. I feel like I did pretty good. Um, I like to balance my teams in defense and offense. I don't like to go all out on offense, because then at that point, you're just like the Dan Tony Lakers trying to find out how every single game you need to outscore the other team. So with the 10th pick, we got Wade first. Size him up with Chris Paul, Marcus Gasol, Jimmy Butler, DeAndre Dragic, Wesley Matthews. So we got a good balance of shooters 
and then defense on the wing. It's great. And what am I saying, just defense? He can shoot too, what's his attributes at? Ah, uh, take that, 86 three-point shot. He can shoot as well, and he has defense. Let's just sort by position to get a better look. We got a lot of point guards. That's because some of these guys are just potential players. Um, Steve Kerr is literally just there in case we need a three-point shot. We can play him as shooting guard. Uh, it's not a big deal. And uh, Drogic is a backup to Chris Paul. Jordan Clarkson is just, we'll stash him away. If you guys watch the MLB, you guys know how they do it. They just stash people away on their farm teams. That's what we're gonna do with Jordan Clarkson. We got Tim Hardaway, we'll stash him away in case he becomes anything. Wesley Matthews to bench Wade. And we got Jimmy Butler who can play small forward. And I guess these guys can all kind of switch positions. Jimmy Butler can play small forward if he wants to. Take a look at that though, man. Awesome. I'm loving it. I don't really know where Marcus Gasol fits on the team. I feel like he's the only questionable pick. I just kind of picked him because he was the best talent out there. Because now that we got Marcus Gasol, I feel like our team fits better with DeAndre Jordan. We can end up really trading him away. Not that we're going to do that. It's literally just a draft. But ah, I feel like if I had to take back a pick, I would have taken back that Marcus Gasol pick and just went for like a sixth man immediately. But I guess Marcus Gasol now is going to be our sixth man. Uh, and we ended up getting DeAndre anyway. So we didn't have to go for DeAndre early, which meant that we could get these two players here. And so we made some smart decisions as well. So let's check out some of these other teams. Uh, I'm assuming this this was the second pick, I remember, because this one came second. The Michael Jordan pick, they got Ben Wallace on here as well, Sean Marion, Tony Parker, Heinrich. But I feel like after Marion, it kind of falls off a little bit. And this is that, this is that Phoenix Marion, huh? Dennis Rodman. And so they do have a balance here as well. Let's go up. Let's see some of the teams that got like poor picks. Can we check some of those out? Okay, this one right here seems like it got a low pick. David Robinson, first pick. Then Amare Stoudemire, Mark Price, Byron Scott. And man, some of these guys, maybe I'm just looking at overall too much, but I don't know. I feel like it falls off a lot. Like, because, you know, overall is value in 2K. And so if you don't have a high overall, chances are you're going to be a difficult person to trade away. Uh, this team here, I feel like if Kid Gilchrist is on like the first screen, you don't, you don't have a good team at all. Um... Julius, T-Mac, okay, Jerry Lucas, I like the squad here. Okay, and wow, Magic in this team. So I guess kind of looking at these teams here, this was the Iverson that I ended up passing up. Take a look at this team. Oh, okay, they got Iverson as shooting guard. We would just have to, yo, Wade would kill him as shooting guard. He's, he's too small. It'd be tough to defend Wade, but anyway, if they're gonna play him as shooting guard and Westbrook at point guard, I feel like that works. And then Lou Hudson. Oh man, that team is looking nice. Okay, let me know what you guys think of this team and I'll just scroll some of these other teams just so you guys can pause if you wanna take a look at these and see how they did. The LeBron team. The LeBron team is really deep. Oh my God, yeah. They got a bunch of high flyers. Dwight, Blake, Jeff Teague for the explosiveness, LeBron. I really like this team. This might be my favorite team. Anyway, let me know what you guys think. Rate my team out of 10. If I had to rate this, I'd say eight. But don't, don't be generous either. You can give me a 2, you can give me a 10, depending on what you think. You don't need to be generous. You're not going to hurt my feelings. It's a draft. Um, and, you know, you get better at these the more you do. So, hope you guys enjoyed. If you did, make sure to leave a like. Subscribe if you guys are new. I absolutely love drafting. I'm probably going to do more of these over at my channel. Nick will be back in a couple days, okay? And he said the first thing he's going to do, obviously, he's going to pick up 2K, come back and make some videos. So, until then, uh, wish him some... Some happiness, you know, just relax and have some fun over at Vietnam with his family for a couple more days. He's going to be back and on the grind. So I'll catch you guys later, eventually, because we're going to be doing more collabs with Nick. It's been the double agent you can trust. I'm out, y'all. Peace.